What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uniform review video. Alright, so finally getting around to taking a look at Adam Warlock's new uniform here for his Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, yeah, so I'm actually quite excited for this because I do really like Adam Warlock. I used to love using him with this uniform. I haven't used him as much lately, but... I don't know, he was still was getting the job done for me, he still did some pretty good damage. Uh, but now, he's going to be getting upgraded, so he's got this uniform, he's got his level 80 and a tier 4, which I don't know if I'll be getting the tier 4, but at the very least we're going to be getting him to level 80, because I have already invested quite a bit into Adam Warlock here. So, for the uniform effects here, um, I don't think it's really changing much from his previous uniform. Yeah, 15-5, guard break immunity, 15-5, yeah, so it's only changing the which passive is changing so both of those are changing this one is uh cosmic telekinesis so his pinnacle of evolution is changed and is that the tier two passive okay so let's see we've got 70 percent chance to penetrate everything um we have decreased damage received by 30 percent and excluding bosses, ignore enemies, damage decrease by 35%. So that'll help out more in PvP. Then his passive here is going to be the same. Um, yeah, revive 100%. We have nothing special there. Second skill. Second skill is quite a bit on it. So counterattack when defending. So it's got the counterattack. It ignores iframe. We have a 35% heal. We have remove debuffs. Gives him super armor. And gives him 35% to his defense. Yeah, targets ignore targeting. So ignore iframe. Okay. Uh, third skill. Third skill, we have damage immunity for six seconds. We have accumulation there for damage when attacking. So damage dealt. That is good. It's 110% increase. So very nice. Lasts for 12 seconds as well. That's actually really good. So definitely not going to be having any downtime uh, without your accumulation. The fourth skill here, we have invincibility for six seconds. We have damage proc for 100% right there. Um, all right, so we have barrier, 20 hits for six seconds. Increase all attack by 50% and defense by 70%. Ooh, those are pretty big buffs right there. And 20% speed. Wow, a lot of that's one of the bigger speed buffs too that I've ever seen. Oh, look at that. Someone just got had more locked to tier four. Congratulations. Um, yeah, that's a big speed buff. Okay, so let's check out the skill preview here and see what the uniform looks like. Alright, so first skill. Iframe does some punches. Second skill. So this is the one that ignores iframe. It's a very short skill. Hmm. Uh, what happens when they hit us? Where's the... Turn AI on. Oh, okay. So he does quite a bit more. Boom. Then he does a little spinneroo there. Okay, okay. Not bad. Um, third skill. Kicks the ground. Does some blasts. Okay. And then the fourth skill. Oh, so he snares them up. And then goes around punching them. Ooh, get a little vortex at the end there. And then the fifth skill. Okay, so it's just some explosions. So uh, third skill gives us all the accumulation. So we definitely want to be using the third skill. The fourth skill, can we... Let me cancel that and they still get snared. We don't get anything else. Uh, this one. Okay, this one we cancel and we can still get the explosion. So that's really good. So maybe... Three, five, four. Yeah, that looks that looks about right for me. Um, what else did this do? Does that? Okay, but we can't really get anything else, so I don't know. I guess you can wait for that kick if you um, have like a rage on him, because yeah, rage or damage proc are going to be the only options, because of course it doesn't do elemental damage. So if you have a rage, you can wait for this right here. If you don't have a rage and you have a regular proc on him with either energy or destruction then you're probably going to want to cancel before he does that kick because you don't want to risk act or uh, proccing your uh, ctp or your ovilus there and then you'll just do the five and four 
Okay, yeah, that looks right. What do they what do they think we should use? 354, okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Alright, um, did they change the tier three at all? Uh no, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, tier three is exactly the same. Okay. And then what does our Oh, it does some damage. 90%. Uh, reflect damage. Okay, interesting. From the tier 4. Um, he looks... He looks good. I don't know. I liked having the continuous attack, though, from his... What was his third skill before, where he keeps punching the ground? That was actually pretty nice. But let's go ahead and buy the uniform here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. There we go. And then let's go ahead and try him out real quick. So we'll go over to World Boss here. Um, just go try him against Ultron. Yeah, so we have Hero here. What does this go to? No, Human, we can't do that. All right, so let's go here. Um, what was his leadership? 60% energy. Okay, so we don't want that. <laughs> um, all right, let's just do this here. And, oh well, yeah, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at his build here. Okay, so I don't have any Urus on him. I guess I probably didn't need them at the time. Uh, we have everything leveled up except for the first skill. No type enhancements. We have a fully awakened overdrive on him. Uh, we do have his own artifact, a four-star one. And we have a CTP of rage on him. The uniform, of course, we just bought, so it is normal. Does that mess up any of our stats? Okay, so it does lower our crit damage, because I believe I used to have him capped on his crit damage. Um, oh yeah, he's got the, the magic, so of course we can use Wong as a support if we wanted to as well. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in with this team here. Actually, we do want um, Dodge Ignore. I guess let's see what his damage looks like. I mean, I haven't used him in a while, so I don't even remember what his damage was like with the previous uniform. But, I don't know, let's see what we can do here. All right, Warlock. Come on, charge. Nope. Right, let's see what we get here. Okay, a little bit of movement. What's on? He has nine seconds for the fourth skill. Okay, so that's why I was uh, waiting for it to come off of cooldown. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do it. no. We need to, uh, need to get out of here. How dare you? Let's be blasted. Yeah, we've got to ignore iframe. What do you think about that, huh? Hmm, I don't know. Damage seems low. I mean, he is still level 70, of course, so... That will definitely be, uh... Which one of these? Yeah, so that one's the rage. So we didn't have rage at all for that rotation. Uh oh all right, Ultron, can you can you relax for a second here? Oh, it didn't switch into uh, Warlock. Give me Warlock back. Here we go. Okay. Okay, that damage looked better. Maybe I just wasn't lining up very well with my damage those other other times. Okay, now what do we got for the damage? Got basically nothing because our rage did not activate. Fantastic. Okay, let's do that. Can you get out of the iframe, please? I'm trying to see what my damage looks like here. So the damage looks okay. But then again, he is level 70, so maybe that's pretty good for level 70. But just to see, I'm going to switch him back over to here. And then we will hop in with the old uniform. And see if we do more or less damage, because we do have the chain uh, or the continuation or continuous attack with this uniform here. All right, so wait, what was the shoot? What was the rotation? This, this, and this. Maybe it averages out to be about the same. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think he is doing less damage with this uniform. Alright, so that's that's good. We want him to have a damage increase, of course. 
I canceled that too early. Yeah, I mean... He still does good damage, though, with this old uniform, or at least compared to the new one. They're pretty similar, but yeah, he is doing, he is doing more damage. So, that is going to be uh, Adam Warlock's new uniform here. Again, it looks good. It just, uh, I don't know, doesn't seem like a massive upgrade for him. Like, the previous uniform, the Infinity Countdown, still seems like it's going to be, you know, not as strong, but very close to as strong. And then he's got his level 80, so I might as well just get him to level 80. And then you could probably use either uniform. So if you already have this uniform, I think you can still get away with using this uniform just fine if you're wanting to get him to level 80. If you get him to tier 4, then you probably want to pick up the new uniform just to get the most out of him. But I think this uniform still looks plenty strong in the quick comparison that I just saw between the two. But I'll do another video once I get him to level 80 because that'll probably show the difference in the two uniforms power levels a lot better. And of course, we will get this uniform up to Mythic to make it even. But for my initial impressions, it looks like a, I'd say, mild upgrade over the previous uniform. The big upgrade for him is going to be his level 80 and his tier 4. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed, and of course I will catch you in the next one.